It was it was late at night on a typical Tuesday evening. I was so in it as I had two lots of coffees from my local coffee shop earlier that day and was unable to sleep. After watching a pointless YouTube video after the YouTube video, I came across a strange title in one of their videos. None of the characters were of the English language, however, the safe of the characters seemed to resemble words. Although I couldn't quite decipher them, curious, I clicked on the video. I suddenly began to hear various creaks and groans coming from my house. I rolled around and got my the nearby, ba nearby baseball bat. I knew for a fatal battle. To my surprise, there was no intruders in the house. Not any size of force entry. All the doors were locked. But I was going crazy. I shrugged my shoulders lazily and walked back here to my room. I spent a lot of money on a high bandwidth connection, so I was perplexed that the video I had clicked on had not done yet. I impatiently clicked the video four more times and I turned the video up. I do it seemed like an eternity, but the page finally loaded. The background was black and was completely and it completely hit all of the text, except for the username and the of the uploader in the description. Both in crimson red. The username of the upload was Nightmare Slumber. In the description, there is how ignorant of you. You are unaware of my demonic presence in your life. I will destroy everything you stand for. With this coward, I am always watching you. And see what you will come to deliver to me forever. Figuring this is simply an idiotic. The, the other 12 year old, I did not heed the danger of him. The video began with a picture of an abandoned mental asylum. Later found out to be disdained by asylum. The picture was a long, dark, and tired corridor extended past the viewer's visual field. The left wall of the corridor had windows separated by columns. The corridor had was bathed. In the mo in a mystery moonlight, only spoken by the sounds of the columns. The darkness of the corridor was a pure black, the likes of which I had never seen. I got the five that the asylum was hastily abandoned and never cleaned up. For the first minute of the video, it was simply a self fate of the corridor. There was no sound nor movement. As it fucked me, 113 of the video, I noticed a, a slow but dominant movement at the very end of the corridor. They had a human stance, but walked very unusually. Most noticeably, the head went straight at the ground. The creature accelerated steadily as the video progressed, eventually breaking it into a full room. Pizza and head first into the camera, knocking it over. Simultaneously, I, I heard a very loud bang at the door. There was only one, and it sounded like someone had set something into the door. I jumped up and grabbed the bag, and when I heard my computer make an air sound, the computer then blue screened at that point, saying it shut down for safety reasons. The screen then proceeded to make him that an unknown hacker had been obtaining information about my whereabouts. And I asked if I was probably a place of the hacker's IP address. He came back to the city in Northern Wales. This <laughs> late, the hack had been made for an abandoned mental asylum. Then the power went out. At this point, I became extremely intimidated. My eyes rolled up with what as my breathing accelerated. I began to hear someone groaning in pain outside the door. I knew it was a mistake to go look, but I decided to anyway. I glanced through the peephole. There was nobody outside the door. I could still hear the groaning, though. No way in hell I was holding that door. I flew in. I flew into panic and immediately attempted to call the police. However, I simply got a busy tone on both the and my and my cell phone. I went back to my computer to see if I could hook up hook up to a generator to ask for help. 
that way when I knew that the computer screen was still on. And seeing it, that text upon a black screen, it did go to sleep. A PC screen standing there yet. It sounded like someone was dying. I raised it to the kitchen and threw two knives out of the door. This was real. This was actually happening. The screams got louder and more desperate. Under the screams, I began to hear a thing, but distant historical laughter. And in the house, trying to figure out what was going on. I then heard a sobbing coming from a closet near my computer room. My skin ran cold as I grasped at the doorknob. It was cold to touch. I should have said something before I opened the door, but I didn't have the conversation to do so. I went to the door open to see a young girl, dead and bloody, composed in a heap in my closet. Her stomach had been ripped open, and her entrails pulled out. She was entirely naked and coated completely in blood. The wall suddenly was in the light. I noticed that something ran in blood on the wall. I should have heard the woman. Time to go to sleep. I rolled around and saw the figure in the video hit down and everything. I froze in fear. Some sudden movement, almost as if I was watching the video that skipped a few frames. The figure twisted his head and looked at me. Then everything went to black and black. Detective's note, the victim's body was found in a similar state to that of the young girl in the closet. Despite numerous blood tests, we could not identify the girl. In fact, due to the lack of missing person support, the fact that no one came forward to claim her remains but to try to solve the case of the murder. Because the no blood test matched anyone to be tested, it seemed like the girl never really existed. We have confirmed that the hacking came from the, the abandoned mental hospital. However, there is no explanation as to how it was time so close together. We have history who feared and less horns, but no officer wants to enter the rooms in fear of his or her life. The only break we got was a witness citing of an extremely unusual and increase running into the hospital. A few days later. When we read this story, we noticed a shocking similarity between the face of the Durian's mental hospital in Habitat and the following image taken from a site. So, still the horror stories with the words GO TO SLEEP captioned above it. Numerous mothers like this have occurred since, and every single one of the victims has been noted to watch the video a few minutes before the homicide is committed. YouTube officials have tried to remove this video, however, every moderator that tries ends up getting fully murdered. This case is still unsolved. Detective's note number two. At first, researching the case, a few discoveries have been made. First, while I was been unable to find the source of the video, last minute accounts of the killer's victim have provided enough descriptive evidence to point to the image used as the background for the video. Although this is a JPEG image assessed by nature, it's still image. Rumor has it that if you stare at the pieces of us, the image begins to twist and contort. Continue staring and you can see a creature beginning to untwist the camera. No one has watched the image long enough to see the creature come close. But enough virtual evidence says that to assume that it's the same person seen in the video. The image can be found below. You are at your own risk for your life, maybe a sake. 
In addition, I have been researching for more information regarding the killer. To my heart, I have found a set of stories of mine regarding one, Jeff the Killer. The stories dictate a serial killer who develops his psychotic head density. At the one onset of his teenage years, officially killing everyone in his immediate family. The most shocking aspect of the story is that Jeff killed his victims in the same way as seen with the thing by a silent killer. Even though the extended book killer community go to sleep before murdering their victims. The most frightening aspect, however, is that the image for fire for Jeff the Killer is the exact same image, same as the image for fire by the witness for the by Asylum Killer. The most terrifying fact of all, though, lies in my personal experience. At the moment of the I heard strange sounds throughout my room. Thinking it was nothing, I continued doing research on Jeff. Making noises get louder and louder. I set aside thinking maybe it was a bird watching me. As I stood to my door, however, I noticed movement in the window. I immediately attempted to phone police. I got a busy signal. Concerned, I put the phone down and locked, looked toward the door. Only to see Jim staring directly at me with his cold, Dead eyes. And I was a disfigured face. His smile was the most eerie thing I have ever seen. I immediately pulled out my gun and began shooting. So I took out half into the night. I know I was in danger. So I set up a gun and surveillance on my home to protect me. I still see by flashes of light and hear banging noises around my home, along with the uh, but still horrifying laughter of which only a true psychotic serial killer can provide. I don't know how much longer it will be until we can catch him, but if he he's making these mistakes, then we'll have a solid identity and an, un- and an airtight case. I feel we are a brink of taking men for, for, for I keep hearing laughter and banging sounds that are escalating in volume. And I also am seeing an arm of a flight in the distance. I have a totally fellow police that's in the scene, but the radio has gone dead. The light is getting closer and I have my gun already. It's him. I can see his face. Time to Hello everyone. My name is Jeff. I wouldn't like that the story is being published, but oh well. I know exactly where all of you live. For example, the one who's the fight me that last time, whenever the first to the killer could be friend fix was made, I will get you. All of you that survived me, I'm coming back for you. I know that you survived, but I will come back. I'm supposed to get you. I'll especially get TNI-6 for doing this. Don't you think about making him survive, because I will get him.